what is going on everybody welcome back to third person this yes. is into the badlands i'm chris that's mike what's up what's up season three b premiere man god episode nine and ten now Thank this would be so damn bittersweet everybody if the show <laughs> wasn't ending and and we're pissed because we are pissed we are pissed and the community is pissed obviously that's why uh, you see the outrage and, that's right. and the save the badland stuff but this is but this because this premiere was amazing and and, and okay yeah. so mike and i obviously we're talking about episode uh 9 and 10 both of yeah. those the chamber of the scorpion and uh, and raven's feathers phoenix blood phoenix butt right so we're going to put it we're combining them so so we're gonna jam a lot of stuff into this episode. Uh, yeah, we you know we want to we want to get through it. So look, we're not gonna recap it or anything. You guys watch it, you know what it is. A lot of stuff happened. Lots and lots of stuff happened. Yeah, you know, uh, the widow fights. Uh, see, I don't call I don't call the widow anymore. I call her Minerva. Minerva fights the master. Sick yeah. ass fight. Super super sick. Right. Yeah, and how it just it just shows you how overmatched. You know, like, man, uh, Minerva man, you was. Know, let's talk I about mean, some fights. Let's just talk about fights. Yeah. You got the, the, the yeah. so yeah. I mean, so the master. We got to see the master in some real action. Good stuff. That's exactly what a master should do. Tons mm -hmm. of flying around. You know, bunch of wire work. The, the, the breaking sliding. of the breaking of the sword. Come on, man. The sword slicing through. You man. know, the widow's arm or the oh, upper the arm. Whatever. With the blade. Oh my god! I think I forgot yeah. about that. To be honest with you. It was um, Jesus. That was nuts, man. And that was obviously that you know that was the beginning of the first of the of the first episode, episode nine strong. of the premiere. It was like we're yeah. coming out strong. The snow going up and down and like oh man. And you said the the Mortal Kombat smashing through the. Uh, so that's what that's yeah when when they when she smashes her through the floor. It's like oh, that's a Mortal Kombat situation right there where they you know in the level you have multiple versions or or you mm -hmm. go to multiple locations in one level. Good stuff there. Um, what else? We go to the fights. We I got? mean. We well we had a, we had a few. Let's um, talk about the fights real quick, man. Let's just do it uh, up. <laughs> well, the fight that everybody's gonna want to hear about is is the Sunny Pilgrim stuff. All right, we'll wait for that one. Let's get to the sun. Well, uh, let's get to the. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's get to the Baji. The Baji. Oh, all right, we can jump in. Harbinger the fight real quick because Baji gets his ass beat. Although I gotta tell you, man, it was fun to see that dude flipping around like that. It is. Know? It is fun, and it I didn't mean, look cheesy. It didn't look cheesy. Dude, no, that's the thing. You got to be – look, at this point, they they took – I mean, this is essentially a new season, right? That's, let's, yeah. let's just be honest, right? So this is essentially like – this is season four. And they're like they, – they're, they're, they're giving themselves – they've given themselves the opportunity to up the ante, not only story-wise, but choreography and fight-wise. Like, we've been slowly getting – beginning of season – I want. I feel like – no, you see – They've done a lot of wide. They've always done the crouching tiger, hidden dragon stuff, and that's it's the best way to explain the stuff. It's just it's the wire work, it's the flying around, it's the defying gravity stuff. I love that stuff. Yeah. And I feel like now they've ramped it up, and they got you know. And so when you got when you have somebody um, who's the, you know Nick, the stature of Nick Frost flipping around and stuff like that. I mean, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty yeah. of, of the martial art that they've created, that they've put into this world. It doesn't matter how big a person is, how small a person is. They could be just as lethal, just as agile, just as, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he turns the dude's, he turns the dude's magic off, which was awesome. <laughs> and that's, that's what really saved him in the end. Yeah. Is because I think that Chris, Cressida and Pilgrim both realized like, whoa, you know, let's, you know, they easily could have sent that more. This? That's what they were yeah. thinking. That was and, that. That and, was and, their and the quote. And, and, and you know, you you're not the only one who can switch it off. Dude, asshole. I just love he how he man. does stuff, though. He yeah. doesn't do things like everyone else. He does his thumbs. Like he's just great, man. He's just absolutely was, great. He he is great. He is great. He, he's you know the the comedic, um, you know, uh, the comedy of of the show. But he also said when he was getting taken away, because like I just said, he he wasn't killed. Pilgrim easily could have sent more guys after him, and eventually Baji would have had enough. Um, it was cool to see Sonny there still holding Henry and not like, dude, this is, you're on your own with this. I, I, I was expecting, what can you do? Yeah, I want to talk so, about Sonny. I want to talk right, about on. his thing. The one, yeah, the one thing is, it's it's um, Pilgrim uh, is, is is told to by Baji, he's no god, open your eyes. And, and he's shouting this. And I thought that was real cool stuff because 
that that puts some doubt in the in the people around Pilgrim. Well, he tries. Even did the, he did it to Nick's too. He tries to talk to Nick. Yeah. And well, Nick. Nick's. I mean, Nick's had has a complete flip flop, and I trust her one hundred percent in what yeah. she's doing and we'll get, her presence in the in the two episodes. I yeah. mean, it's, let's let's uh, again. I, I want I want to just I want to stick on this the fight theme because we can get through story through that. But so one of the next fights was obviously this. Well, the Sunny yeah. Pilgrim fight was, you know. I wrote Pilgrim cheated. <laughs> Pilgrim did cheat, bro. <laughs> because he knew, you know, Sonny had the upper hand. And look at, uh, before he, he turned the gift on, you know, Sonny That's what was... I'm saying. But, dude, I was going to say the Sonny MK fight first. Because he fights MK first. Yeah. So yeah. MK, MK, not for nothing, but MK wore him down. Bef- right before he gets to, um, because didn't MK fight? They fought first, didn't they? No, no, no. MK, MK and him fought. After in the, the chamber fight? after no. Sonny destroyed the Yeah, uh, and then he fought and then he wait, when did he dis- destroy the thing? No, you see that's that's what, that's things? what's tough about two episodes and trying to remember kind of from which stuff. one. Cuz a lot happened, man. The MK stuff was was in the Oh, cuz he made his way back, that's right. Yeah, after he made his way back and it wasn't really, you know, it, it was pretty one-sided that way. Uh, with MK, but that was after that was when MK found him, Sonny destroying the Meridian Chamber. That's the thing. So, all right. So, so real quick, I'm sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. We'll go back to the Pilgrim fight because <laughs> that, yeah, man, you're right. They just, he just, yeah, he turned the, of course he was going to cheat that way, man, you know? Yeah. But he's also, yeah. the thing is, Pilgrim, Pilgrim's using his powers like he's starting to use it frivolously, which is interesting because is he, is he susceptible to the rules of the, of the gift, meaning the more you use it, the less life you have, you know, we don't know that. I mean, I don't think, I, I mean, from I what we really gathered that? is that the more you use it, you, you do lose it. I mean, at what frequency and what rate do you lose compared to, you know, if you're comparing multiple people with the gift, who knows? Yeah. Um, maybe depend, maybe the master doesn't lose it or something, you know, like who knows just because of the I think, stature. I of, think if you have, yeah, but, I, th- I feel like if you have the, if you have the counterpart to that power, Maybe you don't. I don't know. You but, know, because uh, listen, the, the master. Are we ever gonna find out of, now? Well, Damn the, it! The master had a lot of cool quotes about. Um, I go to this because of what we're just what we having to start talking about is that it's unnatural what Pilgrim's doing and using this gift um, to build the harbingers, these warriors to fight in his battle. He's, he's given it. Um, yeah, she right. she can heal. She heals Minerva, which is super cool. Um, Minerva questions her and says, I, uh, "People are only born with the gift." Yeah, I didn't know people um, could just get it. You can't just get it. So the master they open says up the kinder surprise and it's in there yeah like, i have the gift yeah, now this yeah yeah awesome. it, it's not supposed to the master says it's not supposed to control us um it's supposed to set us free so whatever that means that to me doesn't sound like if you get the gift watch out you're gonna die if you use it too much <laughs> <laughs> it's she's saying that it like enlightens you to it to it to i a, think in I, that you know what? Now that I don't you know. mention it now that you say that because we have the whole the whole scene where the scene that in in episode ten, when they're when when she's in that alternate reality dream state, mm-hmm. fighting herself, yeah, you know, you're telling me how she so so basically the whole thing happens where she's she ends up being the the Raven is is the light version of Minerva, and to and to me, you know, we talked about this a lot off camera, but to me that whole fight obviously she's fighting herself she's the same yeah. thing mk had to do when he fought himself mm. the gift mm. really likes to <laughs> people with the gift really have that duality don't they but at yeah. least it's you know they've kept that theme and so she fights herself but what i thought was really interesting is that she the the the, the one in the red we thought that minerva was you know the the good minerva because she's questioning wait but this isn't who i wanted to be and this is what, yeah meanwhile the real minerva the raven has been in there and has the, is the one with the gift. So that means to me that the Minerva, the widow that we knew the whole time, has not been the real Minerva. So I just there's that a lot more potential in there. There's a right. lot, more. and I just really thought that was cool how they put the the real Minerva in the black that we've known her to be mm. the widow in. Yeah, because at first they they made you think like, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Sunny? You know, is it going to be somebody else initially? But when she steps out, it's cool. Yeah, it's a battle a, a battle within herself. Um, listen, when she was the red, 
um, widow, she, the scorpion, I guess we can say, um, she kills Tilda. You know, she, yeah, she doesn't, was, she like, doesn't oh, trust. Snap. Yeah, that she doesn't nuts. trust that Gaius, was absolutely and nuts, and and she kills Gaius, and that's what makes the Raven come out and say, "Listen, the guy that loved you, you don't, you can't, you don't know who loves you, who you, you don't know who to trust, you you can't trust people." So it's it's really cool because at the end we see what happens. Um, you know, I agree with what you what you said about it, how she's battling, um, but let's see that new um, Minerva now after now that she has her she's her, enlightened, she's her gift back, right. and. Obviously, well, well, hold on, there... hold on. We don't know she has a gift because all the promo stuff that we've seen has, was her in the red with the gift. Well, it seems like she passed and, the test. And that happened let's, already, right? Let's... So she didn't say she'd get the gift back. She said she'd get it after she helped her, I think. The master never said she was going to give it back to her. At Not the time. just like that. Like, she has to earn it. She, well, that's my point. So I don't yeah. think she has the gift right now. Well, regardless. I mean, No, no, I agree yeah, with you. Know you. I agree with you on right, that. Right, in, in, so. in, the, in the reality, not the altered state, she doesn't have it just yet. I think she still has to earn it. But I think she sees what she can, what she, she yeah, can sure. become by these this dream sequence. And obviously, there's something very special about her. The master chose her. We still don't know. Uh, quickly, Chow, we don't know where she is, what happened with that. No, you got so. Tilda and Gaius looking for her, which is really yeah. pretty interesting. Um, well, they're looking for Minerva, and they're looking for and yeah. for Chow and for his sister. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, we don't we don't know. I we just, got yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to think like because did we ever see them together, Tilda? And you got a lot of good pairs. You got a lot of pairing off. Well, you we know? got Tilda and Gaius you finding Tilda Baji. Tilda and Gaius, you got ba the you know, Baji and, and Moon and Lydia. Yeah. Uh, Lydia and Moon in there. I, uh, <laughs> I a lot of love going on. A lot of love going on I with know. that with Sherm, you know? I know. I messaged Sherm and, uh, after the after episode nine, and I was like, come on. When are we going to see him in action again? But that's all right because, yeah. you know, because Sherman flexing that, that love muscle, you know? Oh, he's got <laughs> – it, he's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he's like, I gotta, that I gotta keep my muscle. woman. I like it, man. It's just like, yeah, like the moon's just like, nah, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna stay here for her. Like he's just kind of like been like, like it all led up to that, and now moon's just like, no, yeah. I'm here. I'm gonna be with you. And Lady's walking with the cane. She's all baller now. Yeah. She's pimping out, you know. Um, so I'm seeing Baji and him, and you know he got the the, the middle finger. That was pretty cool. But you know, you know, Moon's. I can't wait till Moon gets back in action, though. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, it was funny how the expression on his face when he sees Baji go off to look for whoever. We assume that, you know, it's Ankara. Is it the Master? We don't know. No, we no, know... he's going after Ankara. I'm sorry. You he's think going he's after? No, he's he's the going master, for the Master. Going... Yeah, Sonny's going for Ankara. Yeah, well, they didn't initially say who Baji was going after. Well, no, but then in the in the coming attractions, you see it. So. Oh, did he? Oh, I didn't. All right. Oh, so, yeah, no. So next episode, okay. yeah, he's. Going, um, that's why I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to like miss anything. I mean, obviously, it's been so long since the show has been back. And well, uh, can I? Well, let me ask you this. Though. I got something to ask you. Yeah. So I want to talk about Pilgrim. I want to talk mm. about his his state of mind, and we got to talk about we got to talk about the little bit of sexy time in the tub. It's the hot yeah. tub time machine we got to talk about, hot right? There's something going on in that So hot tub. here's the thing. Here's the deal. First of all, Pilgrim, you're losing your shit. You he's, know, he's super fucking power hungry, He's got man. this power now, and he's just like, you know, Nick stopped him yeah. from breaking that dude's face open. And then he yeah. realized it. So it's like, look, not for nothing. I, I, I feel a part, a part of me feels Pilgrim does have good intentions in his own mind as to what he thinks he's going to do. Or what he would like to do for the world. Great. Fine. So, so did freaking Hitler, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, is he, he there is a little bit of a battle with himself. When he's in the tub and Cressid is there, you know, first of all, I was like, what? Yeah. Did she rub yeah. this dude out? That gave this <laughs> gave this dude a happy ending. Did not see that coming. Then she no, starts to undo her, her, her shirt. That yeah. is the most sexy time that we've seen. On the Badlands. Yeah, I mean, for the that most is, part, we've seen. Listen, I mean, obviously, we've seen Vale and Sunny. No, 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 no. But this not is compared. That straight yeah. up sexy yeah. hot tub time. You it know was what I'm saying it was. So and then, but then now you got to be like, you know, we had a question from the group, you know, um, you know, from uh, our friend Keanu from the group, the Facebook group. You know, what's going on with Pilgrim and Cressida's relationship? You know, uh, 
she thought as as well as many of us thought that she was more like a mother to him. But I never I never really thought that. I just thought she was his, you know, like his his yang. advisor or is something. It, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like she was it was them, like they're the team. Like she mm-hmm. he's the bra and she's the brains. She's the yeah. she's the the brains and he's the instrument. He's the tool. You know, but that listen, hey, hey, folks, all right? Mama Cressida yeah. got to get it in too. So see, I mean, you you kind of we talked about this obviously because we knew that we had this question from Keanu, but you kind of think that this is something that has been, that's has happened before. Oh yeah, I think I think <laughs> not to be crude, but I think they've been getting it in for a while because I think right. it's just. But 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 I think it's just part of their relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like. And I always thought that. I never thought she was his mom figure. Oh, I didn't think that it was I, his mom I figure. I thought either. that there was some because th- don't forget, dude. He was he's been very intimate with her when he was like in her face at the beginning of the season, and he the way he speaks. Well, he was to very her, threatening to her, too. right? But but it's an intimate. You only threaten someone like that when you're intimate, Mikey. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I don't. I don't. There was I, something there, man. I don't know. I'm just. I'm I just think talking that. Ass, but. Listen, they obviously were together for a long time on this journey or whatever. I, I think, myself I think it's just like out of convenience, and they share that they share power. Like, I feel like it's like that thing, man. Do I do I think that there's love between them? No, I don't do, think there's a love. I well, think it's purely. I think a, I think it's like like a friendship love, not a in love. All right, let me let me just let me finish my my thought. <laughs> I don't think it's a a a, a love between a like a romantic love. thing. I yeah. think that it's like if you love your your sister or you, you love your brother kind of thing, that she's trying to um, she sees something in him, and obviously, like I said, maybe his advisor kind of a thing. Yeah. With we never seen she's never seen Pilgrim with the ability with the gift. Right. We're seeing him as a viewer. She's seeing him the same way we are. We're she's seeing already him afraid of him though. Remember. Yes, but now maybe even more. And I think it's more him with the power struggle, him trying ready to kill anybody, him quickly being able to go into the into the she gift. She didn't seem to care about that. I think it's a release. No, I think that she knows all right, let me get let me he he needs a release. Yeah, let me That's why I think this was the first time um that they that they yeah, were think so? in an intimate thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Besides b- before the 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 hot tub loving uh, I don't think that um, there was any intimate sexual thing uh, be- between them, but that—that's me. It's okay. new. The gift is All right. new for so, him. So you guys can let us know, uh, and, and well, uh, us know you know, we'll you see guys. if we can get some answers on that. Um, let's know what you guys think. He says. So she says you got to watch Nick's because guess what? Did you notice that she can do this thing without having to cut herself? And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's yeah. like, yeah, you know, and so when she confronted Nix about that, she says, well, MK showed me, MK told me to think of some bad things that can cut life. deeper than, you know, just and so actual knife. Yeah. You know, and obviously it's, 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 you know, Pilgrim killing caster. So, I mean, that was yeah. pretty sick. I like that. Let's Nick, let's Nix it up a bit, man. Yeah. Nix is sunny. Yeah, did you get what I did there? You get yes, what I, did there? I did. See, I did get that. Instead, instead uh, of saying <laughs> Instead of saying mix it up, I said mix it. Let's mix, mix it, it up. up. So obviously, Sonny goes back. Um, you know, we see him destroying the chamber, kind of a thing. Um, no, but Nix, man, she turned, and I'm, I'm, uh, she, she does. She saves Sonny multiple times. Right, right. She saves him multiple times. Uh, you know, she obviously, uh, you know, when there was when there was a search party out for him. Listen, I don't think that she helped in any way try to look for Sonny. Just maybe try to protect him from getting caught by any of the She's other guys. Him some food. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how about the uh, how about just when Sonny is healing himself and he and he comes uh, through that Where storm else? drain thing oh, no, what, thing, into yeah. the into the what would you even say? It was like a like a I would say like a, a dress maker clothes clothing yeah like a garment factory. Shop. It was like a garment yeah, factory. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yeah. So that was that was um, interesting because you see Sonny. At first, I thought he was stitching himself up or something, but it's like he's making blow darts. Blow blow dark. He's darts. making some weapons, bro. So, so it's cool. He expects people to look for him. Yeah, um, yeah, and then we see Nick shooting a fucking mannequin hand through this guy's <laughs> so sick. torso or whatever. Can we? Can we? Um, uh, can we? <laughs> can we talk about Sonny for a bit? We can talk about Sonny. First of all, I wanted to put out. I want to put out. Hashtag not my Sanso, because 
He's not Sanzo, man. He's he's Sunny, man. He's sunny, yeah, bro. Yeah. Come on, Pilgrim. So here's the thing. I'm really loving Sonny's arc so far. I mean, it's only been, well, no, I mean the whole season, you know, from you, you know, he, he he season one, he's just he's just, he's this absolute killer, unstoppable force, right? And you're yeah. like, dope, right? Season two, he's stripped. It's all stripped away, right? Classic hero story. Strip that. Well, one of them. You strip that shit away. You got to build yourself back up. You get you at the end. You find your family. Your 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 wife's dead, but you got your kid. Boom. Now we're here, season three. You're protecting your son. You're doing what you got to do. You want to get out of the game, but you mm-hmm. keep getting drawn back in. Um, but then like it's just Sonny's ride has been so like kind of heart wrenching. Henry, you know, little, like, little 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 Henry. I'm just happy Henry's safe, but like, Sonny's it all. been drugged through the mud. Yeah. And you know, he's getting he's he's but you see, you gotta realize Sonny's so that killer, he's still a killer, but he doesn't have that drive to kill. He's anymore. not. He's he only not has that drive to preserve, not to kill, like you know all those tattoos. And Nick even says, "Oh, you mark all your all your all your kills." And he's like, "Well, you know, it's like he's like I didn't, you know, it wasn't me." Yeah. Had he had the choice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's interesting that you bring this up. It's kind of interesting yeah, because interesting. really Henry and Vale is what really changed everything, because that's what kind of brought the tension between Quinn and Sonny. Um, what would happen if that never happened, if there was no baby Henry, if there was no necessarily love interest? Listen, Quinn, Sonny would be his right, right-hand man still. Quinn would eventually die. Sonny could have been leading the armadillos, <laughs> you know? It would have been, been a been much a very different, different scenario, yeah. He probably still would have been killing. There would have been uh, potential battles. Killing and chilling. With the barons, yeah. So it's it's definitely a cool thought, Um but yeah, like you said, it's it's all Henry and Vale really just changed this man from a stone cold yeah. killer to a father, and having to protect and wanting a better life for his wife and his child. Um, so it is. It's very sad to see what um, what Sonny has has gone through. But let me um, ask you this: You got another thought? Because I have a question. For no, you. no, no, no. Was there anything you didn't like? Was there was there any 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 element that you were kind of like, ah, all right, I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to think, you know, because some things, some things stick out. Sometimes things stick out where you're like, oh, all right, I don't, I don't know if I agree with that character's motivations and this and that, but. I mean, I think the only thing is, and not that I hate it or anything, I, I just want to slap MK because it's like. Oh, he's got, he's got some wonderful he's... hair. That is <sighs> I... some good hair. Yeah. Come on. Um. He does have some. He does have some nice hair, but yeah, I think that's the only thing because we know what kind of person Sonny is, and I still don't believe that Sonny was the one that killed uh, MK's mom. My, I, I don't think, remember my point. Did I say yes? I think you said yeah. I believe you said that. I don't remember you think anymore. That Sonny I don't remember did. what I said because we were, we were going back and forth about. I said about yes, that, he did, and you that think he dream. Didn't. See, yeah, that. Yeah, well, because that's when he was all opiated well, out, said and I did, said, yeah, I mean, he said it, you know. But he didn't know. He didn't specifically say I killed your mom. I think he said I killed a lot of people. Listen, listen, I've killed a lot of people, kid. What do you want me to do? Yeah. Uh, So fucking badass, dude. I want to just um, listen. I mean, I think we hit all the major points. I think we did. I think we did. I I want to fanboy for a little bit, though. Yes. Okay. I want to, you know, and we do have another question. Yes. Um, But I want to fanboy for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to shout out to Giovanni. Costume oh designer, gosh. Giovanni Lipati, okay? <laughs> Fucking dude. Damn. Insane, just bro. what, man? I just, those things are, dude, the kimono under the jacket, the red suits, <laughs> like, Gaius's outfit there with the, with the, the things on yeah. the arm, like, come on, man. You know, you know what, too, dude? The cinematography, and I tweeted the shit Wait, out of this. I'll get to that. No, let's get to that. I want to talk about it. Well, the just it, it, it enlightened the costuming. Is what oh, well, I'm saying. A lot of sequences, it. Absolutely. dude. All it right, brightened so, them up. The blues and everything, the hues, and the in a lot of the widow that, dream dude, the stuff. The shots of the stiletto sliding across the floor, like yeah, it's like it's like I'm telling you, it, man. Like it, it's it, just because it in a look, way. The Walking yeah. Dead was on before it, right? So yeah. you watch The Walking Dead, and you're like, yeah. all right, it's whatever, it's whatever. But then you go to this, and it's just like flash bang in your face, like beautiful beautiful stuff moon's moon's kimono he's got this 
like kimono short sleeve kimono vest. <laughs> he looks awesome, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 just again, MK looks dope in that in that like he's just it it accentuates his like mm. his like thinner lither form and then they give him the hair the mohawk hair and it's like and nix is like she's got azra on it i don't think i've ever noticed she's got the symbol of azra on her on her uh, yeah mk her has it too i think they, well, yeah and, and it's just like you look at in, in like you know sunny's outfit and then you know even pilgrims and cressida's and dude cressida's makeup in that hot tub mm-hmm. time machine scene dude just like it's just and i love the things and dude i just it's had, it's great. Look, man. They never disappoint with that, this is, dude. And it's such a beautiful looking show. It is. In every way, shape, and form. And you know, when we interview the Toya Morgan, you know, she mm-hmm. said like that was kind of a little bit of its of the show's downfall is that they're running they're running two shows. It's the most expensive show on that MC MAs and what the hell is it called? <laughs> yeah, MCA, MCA, MC, whatever the hell it is. It's the most expensive show that's produced they're by them. They're running two shows. You're doing this yeah. this wonderful, beautiful, crazy fight show, and then you got this beautiful, wonderful yeah. drama going on. And it's like and again, yeah. it, it you know, it's so bittersweet. But is Again, so so here's the question. Mm. Um, kind of, now I'm just flipping. Now I'm just flipping topics here, but uh, I think we I think we ran through a lot of it. Yeah, but um, you know, you know, so another question from uh, Keanu. You know, how much does uh, Baji, you know, aka Nick Frost, or I should say Nick yeah. Frost, aka Baji, improvise on his scripted role for his character? Now we've asked uh, Sherman Augustus and Daniel about this. Um, he does probably it a lot. Every, probably everyone else. He just <laughs> he does it I, a they lot. They said that you can't like Sherman. Sherman said multiple times on our show. He's just like you can't. You just you don't know what's coming out of his mouth. You try to go toe to toe with him, and I think you know I, that's his niche, man. I think he just knows. You give him the he, words to say, and he's just like, "I'm. We'll go with it." You know, he's the comic relief. But right? it's and it's really that. good because it's perfect for his character. He's he's very smart. He's, he's no, very witty. He and it. <laughs> Everybody here, like all these, here's 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 one of the here's one of the really good things about the show. Mm-hmm. It's sad, obviously. Then you know, I, I, man, I can't say any good things without being sad because it's like it's gonna go away. But yeah. all these characters, as established as they are, whatever level of establishment we have on them now, right? Mm-hmm. They're true to themselves all the time. Baji is true to his nature, but he he knows who he is. He knows what he's good at. He knows what he's bad at, and he knows. He just knows himself. Sunny, same thing. He knows who he is. Moon, same thing. Lydia, MK. Lunk is still kind of learning himself. Like that's one character that I appreciate what they're doing where he's just kind of he still doesn't know who the hell he is. You know, but Nix knows, Pilgrim knows. They all know themselves. They all know who they are and they play to that. They don't mm. change. They're not changing and I don't mean Sunny's switch from killer to father. I mean yeah. but they don't change who they are intrinsically that's just it's just they stay like that and that's a beauty thing yeah. that's the beautiful thing about about baji he's just he's baji he just he he will always be that character and it doesn't get old it doesn't get stupid you enjoy the comic relief you know i mean i don't necessarily see it as comic relief we laugh at it because it's funny but it, it's he's saying it so naturally in the conversations and you got a reaction from moon and lydia like all right you, you know and he's like oh yeah i'm sorry you know, when he was like, oh, all I need you to do is feed the thing and then clean up what comes out. And she's like, dude, yeah, are you kidding me? And he's like, all right, I'm not bad. I get that. Yeah, I just it's just great. It's I get just, no, I get I get great. what you're saying. And, and you're right. The comic relief might not might not be the right way to define him. It is because it's it's hilarious. And he does make you laugh. It's levity. And, it's levity in a, in a, in a situation. And you're right. he, he knows exactly, you know, how to say his lines his way. Um just to let you guys know, too, we, we've talked about previous um, interviews that we've did. with. We're talking about the design. We're talking about the, the costuming. Check those videos out. We're on air, man. Some, we talked to Giovanni. We talked to most, Latoya Morgan, the writer, the right. executive producer. We got Daniel. We got Sherman. We've even got multiple, Paco on Multiple there. times. Paco, yeah. Cabezas, uh, he's one of the directors. Directed a bunch of the episodes. It's phenomenal stuff. A lot oh, of guys. the questions that you guys ask us, and if we see, you know, we get questions from from the Facebook groups and everything all the time. But a lot of what they say, I'm just like, dude, check out this video, check out these videos. And it's not just to plug the third person name or anything. I can care less about that. It's just these are legitimately 
um, a great interviews. It's yeah. a great experience for Chris and I to, to, to speak with these people and to get your questions when we do the community Q and a stuff, uh, you know, to, to the stars that you love and to the people that, that are behind the scenes of the show. And that, that's a big part of why we love doing this is because, you know, not only do we, you know, can we ans- ask the questions that you have for the stars is they even interact with you guys in the Facebook groups, which is, you know, insane. Look at the Twitter stuff. Look at what's what's been going on and, and they the love save, us. and the they Save the Badlands stuff and the Into the Badlands, Save the Badlands stuff that that's trending like crazy with this premiere. So it's it's awesome stuff. And I just wanted to say that because, you know, we just had some great interviews. So check that Preach. stuff out, guys. Preach, Maybe we can throw it in at the end of the video so they can easily just click on them. But well, it, yeah, well, there's always yeah at the end of these videos we have um, all the other videos up there. But don't forget and check out the trivia stuff. We've got we've yeah. got them. They've it's come a lot on of fun. to test their it's own knowledge of, of their good, own show. Good stuff. Yeah, so it's, you got to check it out with we've your got a lot questions. Of fun. <laughs> with your questions. With your questions. Your That's right. Stuff. So if you didn't know, so yeah, so a lot so of good it's, stuff. So all right. So look, it's great. It's back. We're happy. You know, save into the Badlands. The community is just so so loyal about this show, and and they're just trying to do anything and everything in their power to get it picked up by someone else. Yep. We hope that will happen, but unfortunately for right now, it's not going to be with AMC. We know that. Um, one last thing, Chris, I wanted to say is we had an awesome two part premiere. And despite how great these episodes have been, you know, at the end of them, it's like you still you still have that big letdown because, you know, there's only six more left. And I see the promos, you know, that are on TV and it's like, you know, it sucks. Where was that? So, I mean, I'm sure everyone that's watching this and you yourself feel the same way when when it's 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 bittersweet. And that's like hashtag bittersweet. uh, Save the Badlands. But. Um, I think we're good. Do you have anything else that you want to say, Chris? Or nope, nope. I'm I looking just... through. <laughs> I don't see anything else that I really wanted to. No, uh, it, was a, it was a big mention. premiere. It was a two night premiere. It was awesome. And uh, yeah, just uh, look. I'm looking forward to just. I got a lot of questions, and I want to see where it goes. Yeah. And um, you know, so just listen. Stay tuned because we got some good stuff coming up for you guys. So Absolutely. Just, thank Absolutely. you uh, for watching, Mikey. What? Once you? I mean. Of course, <laughs> this is how it always ends. Check us out at thirdpersonpod.com on all the search engines. It's a quick way to get to us. You can check us out at Third Person on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, on Facebook, Third Person as well. Check us out. You can have a listen to this on iTunes. You can watch this on iTunes. Um, right in the comment section below, guys, we want to know what you thought about the, the, two, the two-part the two premiere. Um, or what are you excited about? What did you like? Is there anything that disappoints you? Let us know all that fun stuff in the comment section below and check out those interviews and trivia stuff all the badlands content and our walking dead content don't forget check it out if you're a fan of into the badlands walking dead look at the third person pod check us out check us all out yep so um listen that's it guys you know we are sad but you know what i don't want to end this video on a sad note (laughs) we're super psyched with where this is going to go and whatever form it it continues and afterwards this is a this is a universe that we know is not going to be over It, it will it will be around it will be around one way or another and you know, um, and you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I'm, I know Mike and I are psyched, and I know you guys are psyched of what's coming next. That's so right. let's see how how Pilgrim is going to get taken down. That's all I'm saying. So let's we're going to worry about that that when that happens. So let's let's all let's all get going and let's get ready to see that. So thank you very much. We'll see you yes. on the next episode for Into the Badlands. Hashtag Save the Badlands. <laughs> <laughs>